Dates and times in Excel are numeric values. Dates are stored as integers and times as decimals. The large function calculates date and time values in the same way as it does numbers. To get the recent dates, you can use a simple formula based on the large function with an expanding range. Here is the syntax. Large function returns the nth largest value in a data set. We have a list of dates in B2 to B14. To return the most recent n dates, use this formula. Use an expanding reference or expanding range as the second argument to the large function. An expanding reference or expanding range in Excel defines a range that expands as a formula is copied down. For example, B$2 colon B2. This is done by mixing absolute and relative references, making the first cell as an absolute reference and last cell as a relative reference. The rows function returns the number of rows in a range or array. This function returns one since the range B$2 colon B2 has only one row. When copied down, the range changes to B$2 colon B3 and the rows function returns two. As the formula is copied down, the range expands and the number of rows increase. The large function returns the most recent date. When copied to the below cell, the range reference expands by one row and increments the n value by one. In B3, the reference changes to B$2 colon B3. The rows function counts the number of rows in B$2 colon B3 and returns two for n. The large function returns the second recent number. Copy the formula down. The formula will return the most recent end dates depending on the number of cells you copy the formula to. For example, for five recent dates, copy the formula to five cells. We can use the same formula for time. We have the number of hours worked in column B. To find the top five longest periods worked, use this formula. The formula returns the highest number of hours. Copy the formula down to five cells to get the top five longest periods. We can use the small function to get the earliest date. To get the earliest dates, use the same formula, just change the large function to small function. Small function returns the nth smallest value in a range or array. To return the earliest end dates, use this formula. The small function returns the earliest date. Copy the formula to as many cells as you want. As you copy down, the next earliest date is returned. To find the bottom five shortest periods worked, use this formula. The formula returns the shortest number of hours. Copy the formula down to five cells to get the bottom five shortest periods. To download the practice Excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.